summer. The heat is unbearable. Uh, I'm, I just hate it. Uh, I really like fall, winter coming in second, spring third, and then summer as a last resort. Everyone loves summer because it's warm and you get to go outside. Yeah, man, where I live, though, there are a ton of insects. Everything bites, everything stings, everything sucks. Huh. Also, living in the city, man, I'm, I'm tired of that. That's why when I go on these rides, I try to get out of the city. I live in a major city, and I don't like it. When I was a kid, growing up in L.A., I loved it. Then my mom married a guy in the Navy. And then we moved around all over the place, city to city towns and I hated it not being in the city. Hated the country. Now I'm the opposite. The older I get, I want to get the hell out of the city. I want to move to the country. Live out in the desert or something. I mean, really, I'd love to live in a mountain. I like mountains more than anything. A mountain with a cabin, lake, paved road so I can ride, twists and turns. That'd be paradise to me, man. But my job is here. My family's here. Everything is roped up into this. Well, it looks like Scotty's already here. Got here early. If you're not early, you're late. Pull in here. I'm gonna have to gas up before we leave. I'm not sure if you can see Scotty behind me yet or not. All right, we have arrived. Stop one. All right, there he is. Ugly as ever. Hasn't changed his clothes since the camping trip. No, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some coffee, I'll be back. Okay. We're taking 435 to 35 South, past Gardner to Homestead Lane. That's where we're exiting. And around then I might stop to check the phone. Do you remember the exact roads? Yeah, no. Okay, it's basically we're trying to get to Wellsville, so if there's sign to take us to Wellsville, I won't have to stop. I think we took a wrong turn. I don't have GPS out or anything like that, so I've got to look at my phone, which I'm recording this with, and figure out where we went wrong. I think we're supposed to go to 199th Street, and we're at 191st. So, figure that out real quick, bring you guys back in a minute. Okay, we got the bikes parked in the shade. We are at the Battle Creek Historical, what do you, park? I don't know what this battlefield. is. Battlefield, there's a battlefield we're gonna show you. It doesn't look like it's very big, so this should be pretty easy. I'm gonna turn you around, show you what's what, because you don't wanna look at my ugly face anymore. Okay, this is the house. Let me see if I can not shake this too much. 
This is some type of old homestead out here. I mean, this is just gravel road coming up. Gravel road, I don't know, maybe a quarter mile of gravel road to ride in. Uh, Santa Fe Trail is what we rode in on. If you're not familiar with the Santa Fe Trail, it's like the Oregon Trail, except you don't get dysentery. Ha! No, I don't know. Uh, Santa Fe Trail, 1822 to 1872, Blackjack Territory. Of course, these picnic tables were not here. Got this log fence going around the property. Welcome to Blackjack. And they do have a well out here that looks like it has some water in it. Scott, do you want to go pump that sucker, see what we can get? I hope there's water because I didn't bring any. <laughs> Oh, well, there we go. All right, good. The well works. Is it cold? Yeah. Nice. All right, we can cool down. <laughs> Excellent. We're the only ones out here. It looks like there's some different markers and such. There's some little bitty, way back over there, there's some stuff. We got these brochures here. Let me go ahead and grab one of those real quick, and we will see what is what. Blackjack Battlefield. Okay, this is the house. I'm sure it's all sealed up. I'm not even going to try the doors. There's no point. I can tell there's like some lawn furniture in there. I'm sure they've got this set up for field trips for kids or something. Uh, got some new railing. Looks like they maintain this place pretty well. Hasn't been mowed recently, but I mean the grass isn't overgrown or anything. Nice little bird bath. All right, so let's get on to this little brochure right here. Now there is a map on the back. I'm going to show you this. That's the house we're at right now, and there's these little trails around with these little markers, five, six, four, and each of those markers correspond to a different event that took place. So we're gonna go around and check out some of these markers. We're not gonna go in order. I don't think we're gonna go in order. Maybe we'll go in order, I don't know. Probably go in order. So let me go over to number one. This is the back of the house here. I'm gonna walk over to point number one, and we're gonna learn a little bit about the Blackjack Battlefield site, Civil War era. All right, everybody, this is the beginning. This is the first site right here. It says, Battle of Blackjack, first battle between free and slave states fought on these grounds June 2nd, 1856. And there's what looks like a gravestone down here, but it says, erected 1913 by Post 40, Grand Army of the Republic Women's Relief Corps, number 102, deeded to Kansas, 1917. All right, so this is the beginning of the Santa Fe Trail. Basically, they... Uh, I'm not really sure if that's marker one or, wait a minute. All right, so right here in between these trees, there's some ruts. And this is where uh, wagons were cut into the, wagon ruts were cut into the landscape by wheels of wagons traveling the Santa Fe Trail. Prior to this battle, the area was known as Blackjack Springs Campsite or Blackjack Point. It was a popular stopping place for travelers of the trail from the 1820s to the 1870s. Two spring-fed, now I'm just reading off of this thing just so you know, I'm not, this is all off the top of my head or anything, I didn't memorize any of this stuff, so. Uh, two spring, two spring-fed branches of Captain's Creek join and flow north to the main area of the battlefield. The two branches and the main creek form a Y at its top opening toward the south where the 1890 Robert Hall Pearson farmhouse now stands. All right, so that's what that farmhouse is up there. Three, two, one. All right, Scotty and I have been exploring some of these little trails around this homestead here. There's a creek, uh, Captain's Creek over here, which is where this battle was fought. So this is basically the battleground, one of the pro-slave versus free battles fought between uh, Henry Clay Pate. Uh, he led a pro-slavery militia called Shannon Sharpshooters, and he went up against John Brown, who was the free state uh, militia led by he's joined by another free state militia uh led by samuel shore anyway this is where it went down and the slave dudes lost <laughs> so you know it's a little park now they bring kids out to they can check it out you know little field trips and such so it's a nice little area it's a very humid out here of course lots of spider webs and there's some down trees over the creek that's it for Blackjack Battlefield. We're now going to go to Edgerton. Is it Egerton? Edger Edgerton. Edgerton. Edgerton, Kansas. The spot out there called the Boxcar Bar and Grill. We're going to go have lunch there. Check that place out. I'll bring you back when we get there or if something exciting happens along the way.
All right, everybody, Boxcar Bar and Grill, Edgerton, Kansas. That's where we stopped. Uh, it's Taco Tuesday, so I'm gonna have some tacos. Bikes are parked, Scotty's already in. I'm gonna go join him. Scotty, what'd you get? I got a cheeseburger and crickle fry. There you go, Taco Tuesday. I got one, two, three, four, five tacos. Here it is, Boxcar. All right, those tacos were delicious. Scotty, how was the burger? Awesome. We are done. Leaving the Boxcar Bar and Grill, definitely recommend if you're ever in Edgerton, Kansas, come check this place out. I didn't record much in there because I didn't feel like asking if I could record and there was like two old country boys up at the bar and that was it and nobody else, the place is dead. I mean, it's one o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon, so yeah, not many people. Uh, but yeah, this is it for the video, guys. I hope you guys are able to get outside sometime soon, if not today. Go out, check out an old Civil War battlefield. Go out and go rock climbing. Go hike some trails, get on a bike, ride down the road, get into Jeep, put the top down, roll down the road, do whatever, just get outside. That's pretty much it. Scotty, you got anything you want to say? See you on the road. See you on the road. For me, I'm going to say catch you down the road. Mm -hmm.